up, wanna be the greatest energy is overflowing I know I'm stoking the fire, my desire's taking over all Not tired, I'm inspired, rewired, I know just what is required My brain knows how to decipher the message, it's looking brighter Already paid up the pipe, but my game is getting much tighter I feel my body on fire, uh Now it's game time, all the practice to prepare for this main time I could do anything, that's my baseline Alright guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a brand new release from SkyRC here today. This is the B6 Neo Smart Charger. Now, this little guy here is being advertised as a replacement for the very popular IMAX B6. Many of us have used this over the years. I'm still using this six years later. Still going strong, hasn't skipped a beat. Been a very reliable charger for me. Well, this little guy is supposed to be a replacement for it. And the size difference, check that out guys. Quite a difference in size there between the B6neo and the IMAX B6. So looking forward to seeing what this little guy can do once we power it on. I haven't powered it on yet. We're gonna do that here together, look through it together for the first time. So I really don't have much info on this other than what the advertisements are showing you. On the box here though, guys, DC 200 watts, PD 80 watts, uh, PD 3.0. So that's like a fast charger, like a, a power direct charger is what you need for this one so a standard usb will not work for it you need basically it's a quick charge is what you need and it's going to be a uh, type c we can look at that in a moment here so you do get a quick start guide here introduction basically showing the chart what all the outputs inputs and buttons are for here specifications standard battery parameters it is double-sided so once you get it powered on all your charging instructions are on the other side there and they do have a QR code if you need a little bit more complete instruction manual. That is advertised and listed right there. Just scan that QR code and you'll uh, be redirected to an online manual, which I'm sure will go more in depth and obviously uh, have bigger print than what we're getting in this little manual. So what else are we seeing here, guys, on the box? Again, we'll probably get over and review most of those specifications there. I'll probably leave some... Uh, some stuff on the screen during this video as well because I'm going to need to get pretty close to that little box to be able to uh, read all those. Anything standing out here, uh, it says it's got a 10 amp uh, charging current, smart fan control, multi languages, and dual input. So very cool. We'll put the box aside, pull this in. This also comes with it. Now this is your DC input right here. So it's got an XT 60 connector on the one side that will plug into the B6neo and then some alligator clips on the other side obviously your positive your negative and those will clip to like a 12 volt car battery if you're out in the field you can just clip those to your battery and charge up your packs all right let's bring in the B6neo here nice size guys it feels decent it's actually heavier than i thought it was going to be it's definitely not cheaply made I'm noticing right away we've got some vents on either side that is cool for airflow and as well on the bottom here built-in fan little feet to keep that fan off the ground and some additional vents on the bottom so we shouldn't have any issues with this overheating our input side well this is where that input uh, cable comes in right here into the dc input which is rated for 10 to 28 volts and your pd input it is a type c uh, input there usb input and that is going to be rated 10 to 20 volts for that input. And that would be why we have a difference between the 200 watts and the 80 watts of charging right there. That's listed on the box. All right, output side here, we've got our balance output right here. That is one to six cell. You've got our battery output right there, our charging output, which is also another XT60 connector. And that uh, is what you'll plug your battery in to uh, start charging this thing. So. I'm going to actually be using the PD input on this one, guys. And as I mentioned, the standard USB will not work for it. I do have this, though. I picked this up. This is a little 20-volt uh, laptop charger. I just want to show you this. And I'll leave links for this as well in the description. These are cheap on Amazon, by the way. They're, like, they're not expensive at all. And it has that Type-C right there. And this one being rated... Yeah, it's rated... 20 volts we should be good to go it's actually rated output 5 9 15 20 at 2.25 amps so this will be uh, plenty for us to uh to demonstrate here and i'll be using this to discharge use this charger All at right, the bench. we're gonna get ready to power the b6neo up here but before we do i brought in a battery this is the battery we're going to be using to demonstrate uh the charger here it's got an ec5 connector now 
I've got an adapter here, XT60 to EC5. So we'll be able to use it with the B6 Neo here. But what I wanted to show you before we uh, actually power it up with the power supply is you can plug in your battery, specifically the balance plug, right here, and you can use this to check your batteries. So check that out. You can check, we've got a three cell battery. You can see the voltage of each individual cell there as well as the total voltage. So that's pretty cool. You can just use as a battery tester and not have to power it up. All right, let's unplug that. We're gonna plug in the PD input here. There we go. I've got an outlet beneath the bench here. Damn, check out that screen, guys. Nice bright LCD screen. And following the uh, startup screen, we've got a warning screen here. Never use the charger unsupervised. And then beneath that goes into some LiPo battery uh, risks. And uh, yeah, just proper handling instructions there. All right, so to get out of that, that's your uh, select button right there, your enter button. We would hit that. You also have your buttons to scroll up and down, which are labeled plus and minus. So we'll hit the select button. There we go. Now it's showing the specs of our charger here, or our power supply, I should say. We've got 45 watts of power. Now that's underpowered for what this can handle because this says on the PD input, we're able to handle 80 watts of power. That's fine. This is good enough for this uh, this demonstration. Voltage, 20 volts and current, 2.25 amps. So we're going to plug in the battery now and looking on the output uh, balance uh, output here, our negative is on the side. So you've got your positive, which is red. Your far left would be your negative. And we're just going to hug that to the very end here. There we go. And we'll plug in the battery now. There we go. And we're actually going to switch screens here and get a top down view. We'll hit enter now. And that brings us to our battery screen. So you can see we have 11.91 volts. So we got some info there. If we scroll up and down, that'll take us through our uh, individual cells, as well as there's our uh, power supply info again. Back to the main battery page, hit enter, or battery screen, I should say. Battery type LiPo 3S, well, let's select LiPo, and you can see scrolling through, all the standard battery types are there. NiCad, LED, nickel metal hydrate, high voltage, uh, lithium ion, we'll select LiPo because that's what we have. 3S battery is what we have, and I'll automatically determine that. But it'll charge 1 to 6S on the LiPos. So we'll charge 3, and actually I want to go back and let's see what it'll charge on like a NICAD. Whoops, that's PV. Actually, we'll go with nickel metal hydrate. And it'll charge 1 to 15 cell on that. So it is... Uh, NICAD. I think it's going to be the same. Yeah, 1 to 15. All right, battery type. LiPo. Battery cell, 3 cell. Task. So you got balance charge, regular charge, storage charge, and discharge. The only two I'll really use here is storage and balance. So we'll select balance. Condition 4.2, so each cell is going to charge up to 4.2 volts, but we can go 4.18 up to 4.22. We'll keep it at 4.2. Charge current, it's set at 5.2. It's a 5,200 milliamp hour battery, so I always charge like one to one like that. It'll go from 0.2 amps up to 10. So, for instance, so it's a 5,200 milliamp hour battery. I'll set it for 5.2. That's just habit. If it was a 3,000 milliamp hour battery, I would set it at 3.0. So back to 5.2. Select. And we're ready to start. So let's hit the start here. Audible confirmation that started there. It's showing 9 point, or 11.94 volts. So all our information is on there. That is cool. I wonder if we hit. Yeah, and it's showing it's showing the individual cells being charged as well. Very so cool. So if you wanted to stop the charger, you just hit the select button. It prompts you if you want to stop. You hit the select button again to hit OK. 
And there we go, charging has stopped. I'm gonna fire this back up in a sec here, guys, but before we do, we're gonna wrap this one up now. If you guys like this video, make sure you have a big thumbs up. You wanna get some more info on the SkyRC B6 Neo here, check out the links down below in the description. This thing looks pretty sweet, guys. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. And remember, don't be a stranger. See you on the next one. See ya.